You know, a champion must not only have the ability to win, but the will to win. And only in Michigan will you find the men and women whose talent made us the arsenal of democracy in wartime and the economic pace setter in peacetime. But let me emphasize that we have much more to offer than physical facilities. Detroit was on the verge of bankruptcy. I came to visit right after the incentive was passed and I drove down the street that my grandparents used to live on. It was heartbreaking to me. And I knew in that moment that I had to move back to Michigan and help my friends and family get involved in the film industry and that there was hope. Detroit's the city of champions. Michigan is the number one place to film in the world right now. The tax credit is the highest it's ever been for any state. I'm so happy that Hollywood will be coming here because it's such a deserving state. And everyone's so willing to work with us. I haven't found any decent work until the movie showed up. Film incentive allowed people from food to paint to carpentry to landscaping to get in this industry and actually have a career. Let's go to work. The film industry has been very good to us. Hollywood works like clockwork and the way they're bringing things in and the teams of people that can just jump from show to show. There were so many people working that they ran out of people to hire. Now these people are able to pay their bills. All this is happening while we're going through the worst economic recession. We presented with an opportunity like this is a blessing is talking about eliminating that Michigan film credit, and that's about $100 million. You know, they just yanked it from right underneath us. Like, I invested everything I had into this. It is devastating what the governor's proposed today. I have to move and start back down at the bottom. People are calling these cuts way too drastic, but Governor Rick Snyder says they are necessary changes to spur job growth in Michigan. Since the tax incentive was capped at $25 million, we haven't seen any new activity going on in film. In the last six months, I haven't done anything. How many movies have you worked on since then? None. I'm considering moving. I have to go out of town. I think they've realized that they made a big mistake. You may as well shut out the lights and go home. Why stay here? They should just hang a closed sign. Detroit has demonstrated beyond doubt that it has the resources and facilities. Detroit waving the white flag. Motown down. The city is basically broke. How does bankruptcy work for an entire city? Creative people were moving in. They were taking over abandoned buildings. You know, we've certainly seen how many jobs this industry creates. Detroit was the number one place to move to. And this has to do with the film incentive. The bill to wipe out tens of millions of dollars paid out in film incentives is sitting on Governor Snyder's desk. Now Republican lawmakers not only want to kill the incentives, but phase out the entire state film office in the next three years. I'm not just one person, there's thousands of us out there in Michigan that want to keep this alive. It's not big stars, it's people who drive trucks, people who swing hammers. And I'm getting sick of getting stomped on. Right now, we can't shoot in Michigan. This is my home. There's a possibility I have to start over again. We have to fight for it. We still have a chance. This belongs to the people of the state. This is not about saving Hollywood. This is about saving Michigan. I am not going to give up. On the basis of our integrity and welfare as a state, I beseech you to stand by your earlier decision and reject its reconsideration.